It's finally happening. Good morning, guys. It lives. It's there, trust me. It feels so great to have this computer back up here. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about today, because I know that this day is gonna, it's gone flying by. And the reason for that is because I had been affected by something called the globus sensation. I don't know if you can Google it, but essentially it's like a really bad pain, like right here in the muscle. It's a, it's the off coordination of the muscle. So every time that it's like that you go to swallow, it's it's long, complicated story. It's been, it's been on and off for the last four years, once about every eight months or so. Anyway, so that's that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I didn't want to talk about the globus sensation. I didn't want the globus sensation to happen. However, it did. So I've been laying in the dark all day and I've been watching inspirational YouTube videos. Like for example, it's called The Anthropological Introduction to YouTube. And I almost wanted to take an anthropology course, but like, here's, here's the thing that I found about me. Uh, when I go to take, like if I'm interested in something and I go to look at the course, then everything that I've already researched on my own will be in the course. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the exact same thing I found with counseling. <laughs> I learned how to deal with like angry people a little bit better, but other than that, I already knew exactly everything that they were talking about. I just learned names for it. It was the stuff I was already doing. I mean, maybe counseling is different than like accounting, but I have no interest in accounting or else I would probably research it myself. You know what I mean? But mainly it's, it's on this anthropological introduction. YouTube focuses on when you're talking to a camera that you're not actually talking to a camera, but you're talking to a camera. Like you're, you're talking to, camera but you're potentially talking to a billion of people and it reflects on like it's it's constantly you're you're kind of self-aware at the same time especially if you start looking at first vlogs and that's that lens is dirty you know? so you're you're subconsciously when you're recording you're thinking about watching yourself in the future and it's really it's really weird and it's uh, you know of course it's gotten better at you know it's gotten better over time but it's, I think it's still there for the, for the tiny, for the tiny little piece in my brain. It's like, hey, this could go to anyone anywhere in the world and would you be okay with that? And I think that's probably what stops a lot of people from creating content a lot more often than they should or that they are a lot more often than they want to if they want to at all or that's what's stopping them from wanting to create it at all is that the fact that it can be seen by anyone at any time at any moment in any place of the world and that's what he said michael welsh he's a anthropologist and he said it is at the same time the most public and the most private place in the world because it's you it's your home it's your own place wherever that may be and at the same time it can be seen by anyone that wants to see it anywhere in the world and i thought that was really astonishing and that's, that's inspired me for a long time. It's just that possibility and that potential to reach anyone. So if you, there's gonna be a link in the description to the video. It's about an hour long it's a presentation that he gave in 2008. And I mean, a lot of the figures and a lot of the relevancy has changed since then, but it's still a really, really good informational thing. If you, if, if you have an interest in anthropology, you should go watch it. So like, now that I said that last night about photography being the new business kind of thing, uh, maybe actually. Like, do films and film, films, 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 do films in the meantime. But honestly, like, I don't know what you could see in the background, probably nothing, but that's like, I thought it was gonna be like, yeah, they're not bad, but they're actually really good. Like, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, so that's that's that and that might be a thing in the near future maybe work 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 actually i guess we're supposed to get a frost warning for tonight which is going to be interesting to see how that pans out if it actually gets frost and it sucks that i can't go to tim hortons and get coffee uh because i can't swallow without a massive amount of pain so there's no point in me buying coffee that it's going to really 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 hurt to drink uh and it's national coffee day so happy national coffee day by the way well guys it's been like 14 hours in that uh, the globe sensation is still there. I actually came from work early because I couldn't stay awake on the phone. I was, I was literally sitting there and falling asleep, going forward, and like as I was talking to people, it was bad. And now I'm home, and now I'm gonna go to bed, and uh, hopefully I can sleep tonight. And this globe sensation will be better tomorrow. What a sensation! I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.
Sen yuvarlan 